Will people really click if I make that face? Do you think they will? So the lead up to this video, I really thought that I was going to be picking up rosin gummies today from Vitacan and that was my full intention. And not only did I intend to get those, the bud tender there kind of convinced me to just get the RSO gummies. So we switched to that subject for the video. Then when I got home, this is what I found in the bag. It used to be that the only option for gummies in Florida was just distillate gummies. Now we have things like live rosin gummies, rosin gummies in general, RSO gummies. Let's check it out. So this is, wait, cocoa butter? Give me dark chocolates. Well, I guess we're gonna have some dark chocolates today. <laughs> it's fine, I'm not mad about it because the dark chocolate's pretty good too, but let's, I guess we're gonna talk about that. All that lead up to this, all that talk about. <laughs> But it, is, but it is RSO. It is RSO. And I think the chocolate started, they did, all the chocolate started, all the edibles in Florida started out as distillate edibles. So it's still the same concept. It's still the same thing. Um, it's just that they gave me a surprise, a surprise product that I wasn't expecting. And it's not the gummies. I was kind of looking forward to the gummies, but it is okay. So what's in these? We got unsweetened chocolate, sugar, cocoa butter, soy, lecithin, natural vanilla extract, MCT oil, natural flavor, and THC full spectrum cannabis oil. So that sounds perfect to me. If you don't know this about me, I used to make gummies and edibles on this page and I would always put soy lecithin. Was it soy lecithin? I think I used sunflower lecithin. No, I think it was soy lecithin. It's just been some years since I did that. So marijuana comprises hundreds of individual compounds like cannabinoids, flavonoids, terpenes, and other essential oils from the cannabis plant. Let's skip ahead to what we need to know here. What exactly is RSO? RSO is an abbreviation for Rick Simpson oil, a high CHC oil with numerous purposes and ways of use. Simpson is a medical marijuana activist in Canada who was diagnosed with basal cell carcinoma cancer in the early 2000s. He formulated marijuana oil to ease his cancer symptoms, which later led to the creation of medical marijuana strains. Wow, damn, he really... RSO is made. RSO distillate retains all the compounds of the cannabis plant, including cannabinoids, flavonoids, and terpenes. Manufacturers create RSO using a solvent, mainly alcohol, and then sometimes butane or ethanol. It is often packaged in syringes for easier application, consumption, and storage. RSO is a full spectrum oil because it maintains all compounds of the cannabis plant for the perceived entourage effect. The compounds work together to boost each other's influences. On the other hand, distillate oil removes all the compounds and essential oils, leaving only the primary cannabinoid, THC or CBD, behind. So, thank you to whoever wrote this at Fluent. I do believe it was Emma Collard, but I don't want to say that for sure because I don't know. It doesn't have her name on it, but. So, thank you so much for that fantastic information. You gotta just roll with the punches. You think you're getting gummies, then you get chocolate. Oh no, what a huge problem. <laughs> Things could not be worse. I've never dealt with something so difficult in my life. They are in separate little pieces already. Like they're not a bar. They're actually chunks already. That makes me happy because this can get messy. Like breaking up chocolate can be like little pieces get everywhere. It's a 10 milligram. It's a 10 milligram piece. If this is your first time using an edible from Florida, just know that even though they come in mainly a 10 milligram standard dose, that does not mean you have to take the whole thing to start out. You can start small. I'm just saying, I'm not saying you have to do anything. I'm just saying there is an option to not eat the whole piece because some people out there like myself right now do not really enjoy the experience of a 10 milligram edible. And I know, yeah, I know I'm getting the thumbs downs right now and the unsubs are happening right now as I'm saying this because people don't like to hear that. They don't like to hear that other people are different than them. Some people, cause I get it. I used to eat like 30 milligrams at once or more. I would eat like, a, I would, I think I've eaten a whole bag before. And so have other people like, it's fine if you do that. I'm just saying like, it's not for me. With all of that said, we're gonna eat the whole thing. I'm just kidding, we're gonna do half. Mm. The pain of edibles, because you wanna eat so many that they're good, they taste good, but then you're gonna suffer the consequences if you do that. Because I'm a connoisseur, I'll tell you my thoughts on the chocolate in depth, in great detail. Because I've had other canvas chocolates before. True Leaf makes them, I really like the Binsky ones when they had those going on. Sweet Talk is pretty good too from True Leaf. But yeah, it's about the texture for me, the flavor and the effects, but this is good this is really good especially if you're somebody who is used to like the really strong pungent taste of just straight rso in the syringe because that tastes pretty bad in my personal opinion typically but there is sort of like a unique flavor to rso and i do totally sense it in this chocolate like it's a i don't know how to describe it i guess it's more fragrant i want to say like there i guess you start, so you really do see you know how it's said in there like there's more essential oils and 
flavonoids and things like that in the RSO than there are in distillate, you taste it with these. The chocolate that I ate definitely had a positive effect for me personally as a medical patient. I do really think it's all about mindful use, at least for someone like me who doesn't really have the highest tolerance anymore. So I can't really overdo it or I just won't feel that great. So for me, five milligrams, 10 milligrams in an edible is a pretty good serving size, but everyone is different, of course. I decided to get out of the house and just ride one of these e-scooters around town because I was just like, what am I gonna do now? I don't really know. I'm not used to being off on the weekends. Check out the vlog channel if you're into that. And otherwise I'll just see you back on this channel when you come back next time or when I come back. I do have other videos planned for this channel coming up. So if you wanna subscribe, you can, and then you'll see those pop up in your notifications, hopefully. Have a great one.